Our top story tonight, 30 years of having a small business. Suddenly it's gone in one night, leaving a Tyler family devastated. Elder Quintero Sr. has been the go-to person in the community for getting furniture repaired and refurbished. Now it's no more after it all caught on fire. Our Tristan Hardy joins us in the studio with more reaction from customers and more to know. Hey, Tristan. Well, I had a chance to catch up with the family and it is a heartbreaking moment for them. Investigators still don't know what exactly caused that fire. But one thing's for sure, the family says it could have been a lot worse. A lot of hard work and years of dedication was put into Elder's Furniture Repair Shop on Troop Highway. He loved uh, everything he did and he, put his, he poured his heart into it. Now it's gone and it's left a void that will be hard to fill. He's had the shop since I was 12. You know, we lived our childhood here. Elder Quintero made a name for himself, repairing and refurbishing antiques and furniture. My sister and I brought in an end table, a maple end table, oh, eight days ago or so to have a leg repaired on him. A skill that his customers say he took pride in. He enjoyed his work. He was a, he was a, a craftsman. A dedicated craftsman, still working at the age of 80. This business, is it was his life. His customers was his life. His love so strong, he went back into his shop while it was still on fire to try and save some of his customers' belongings. Flames forced him back out, leaving him with second degree burns. It's just a, a true blessing to, to our family that he's, he's with us still. And this is what's left. Anything and everything around his shop charred. His family says he's upset he couldn't save much, but his customers understand that material things can be replaced. I don't, I don't feel that bad about my table because it can be replaced, but these people have lost everything they own, their livelihood. I'm told Elder Senior is doing okay. Right now, he's at Parkland Burn Center in Dallas, and fire investigators say a space heater may have caused that fire. Now, from, for now, just the monumental task of cleaning up is ahead of them. In Tyler, in the studio, Tristan Hardy, CBS 19. Back to you guys. Thank you, Tristan. Now, if you would like to help, the Quintero family created a GoFundMe page, and we'll have that link on our website, cbs19.tv.